Hi guys! I get a lot of questions about the type of skincare I use, which has changed, the type of toothpaste I use, plus you guys are looking for all natural remedies to over-the-counter products, and I am here to show you today what's in my medicine cabinet and give you some beauty tips and some ideas of things that you can use that are probably right in your bathroom or your kitchen. I'm going to start off with my toothbrush. I use all natural toothbrushes by Preserve and these are great. I get them at Trader Joe's. I love them because they are completely made from recycled products and not only is the packaging recycled and the toothbrush recycled but they are recyclable so when you're all done with them you can recycle them and I love that. They're very inexpensive. I get the ultra soft brush for gentleness on my gums but it still cleans my teeth very well. As far as toothpaste goes, my best friend just shared this with me. It's called Earth Paste. It's made from clay. Prior to this I was using Living Clay which I absolutely still love so much. Living Clay is amazing and you can do so much with it and I'm going to be doing a video on that very soon. But I decided to try the Earth Paste just for fun and I really like it. I got the cinnamon and it just cleans your teeth really well. It tastes great and it's got all natural ingredients in it. There is nothing in here that will be a problem for your body and that is important because most toothpastes on the market will tell you to call poison control if you swallow them. So be careful what you use as far as toothpaste goes. I use Gentle Floss by EcoDent for flossing and I love my gum go-betweens and these are great because they get all the stuff out from in between your teeth they have three sizes and I just love these I keep one in my purse for emergencies when I have something stuck in between my teeth and these are really important when you're eating dried fruits like dates because you don't want that stuff staying stuck between your teeth you want to get it out right away so I love these now as far as skincare goes, I really love 100% pure products. Their products are all natural and I love them. This is a relatively new product. It's called Organic Argon Oil Creamy Cleanser and I really like this a lot. This is very cleansing but very moisturizing. So if you really want a moisturizing cleanser, this is great. I also like their brightening cleanser and this came with a little with their skincare set of their brightening line and I really like that a lot that cleanses really well and it cleanses a little more than the argon oil cleanser because it doesn't have as many oils and stuff in it so this works really well for getting all your makeup off. I have started wearing makeup again a little bit. Some luminizer and some blush and every once in a while I'll wear a little bit of mascara and that's about it. Of course uh, you know I love lip gloss and lip balms and things like that. So whether I'm wearing makeup or not I really like to wash my face at night once at night and that's all I need is just washing it at night when I'm done with that, I'll put on 100% Pure's Organic Purist Acai Berry Anti-Aging Serum. I really like this. It's, it's an oil and it's just you put a little squirt in your hand and kind of dab it all over your face and then gently massage it in. It's fantastic. It smells lovely and it really does moisturize and it leaves your skin looking dewy and glowy which I like so I just apply that once at night along with eye cream I forget what eye cream this is this was a sample that I got from them and I will put whatever it is I'll put it right here right now it should show up there and I really like that a lot it smells really good it kind of smells a little bit like cotton candy it's just a little sweet and very faint it's really nice this is another moisturizer that I absolutely love. This is Potentia 
Energized Skin Oil. It's homeopathic, it's got essential oils in it, and it's in a variety of oils, moisturizing oils, and it smells so good. I love the smell. Oh, it's just so lovely. Very light, but fragrant, and it's not too strong. I use it on my entire body. Like, when I'm done in the shower, while my body's still wet, I'll put several drops in my hands and do my upper body, and then do more drops in my lower body. And it's just really nice for after the shower, but it's really made for your face, for your skin. People who have eczema or skin problems, apparently they this really helps them. So I just love this. And I think when I'm done with the Asahi Berry Serum, I'm probably going to go to this just for fun to switch it up. And as far as body moisturizing goes, I absolutely love 100% Pure's coconut line. I'm a huge fan of coconut. I love the smell of coconut and their products are great. I use this whipped body butter in coconut on my hands at night before going to bed as just like a deep rich moisturizer. It is not greasy at all. It soaks right in and I love that about this. It's a little pricey but I find it worth it. It doesn't take a whole lot and it's lasting me quite a while so I like that. And then I also use their Nourishing Body Cream in Coconut, which is just wonderful. Every time I put this on and people are nearby, they're like, oh wow, what is that? It smells so good. So this is great for body moisturizing or hand moisturizing. I'll use this during the day. Again, it's not greasy. It soaks right in. And I also love their Coconut body cleanser, which I use in the shower with a loofah, and I really like that a lot. Lip balm. This is one of my favorites. I'm so excited about this lip balm. It's Ladybug Jane. They're completely vegan, really clean, and I just love them. They have so many flavors, and my favorite is Vanilla Cupcake. It smells so good. It's so moisturizing. I love these. I'm just in love with Ladybug Jane lip balms and they're so affordable. That's another thing that I love is they're very affordable. For deodorant, a lot of people who follow a raw food diet, they say you don't need deodorant and you don't. Like I really didn't need deodorant until I started eating chives and sweet onions and things like that. Like it does tend to produce a body smell on a lot of people. And this is the best deodorant. You probably have it in your kitchen right now. It's baking soda. And this is Bob's Red Mill baking soda. I really like their products. It's very clean. And all I do is just take off the top, put like a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda in my hand, use the other hand, get it wet with some water, rub it together until it kind of dissolves in my hand and then just rub it underneath my arms. No smell. And it's so cheap and affordable. It works great. So if you're looking for an all natural deodorant, you definitely don't want to use an antiperspirant. You never want to stop your body or prevent your body from sweating. Sweating is very important. If you stop that process, you're basically stopping your body from doing a really important cleansing job. So please don't use antiperspirant. Let your body sweat and just use some all natural baking soda to prevent any smell. Speaking of smells, I'm a huge fan of essential oils and aromatherapy. My favorite aromatherapy line is doTERRA. It is hands down the best essential oil company I've ever come across as far as purity and the smell of the oils. When I first smelled these oils, because I've been using essential oils for a very long time, I've tried so many different brands and I've used so many different brands. And when I first smelled the doTERRA line, I was blown away by the purity and the overall aroma was just so different. As you 
really get your body cleaned out, your senses become really heightened, and you really can tell. When I go back and smell my older essential oils, it's kind of like, oh, whoa, that's like, there's something, something up with that. And when I smell these, they're just like, wow. So I have a bunch of favorites. I'm going to tell you about a couple of them really quick. Lavender is amazing. Lavender oil is just so good for so many things. I especially use it for burns, sunburns, blisters, bug bites, uh, cuts. It's very relaxing, the aroma. So when you're having a hard time sleeping or you just need to like take, a, take it a notch down, lavender oil is fantastic for that. Another great oil is peppermint. Now, I used to have a bottle of Advil and Tylenol in pretty much every drawer and cupboard in my nightstand, in my purse. It was everywhere because I basically had a headache almost all of the time. And of course, since I've gone raw, I haven't really had much of an issue with headaches. I do from time to time get a stress headache or you know if I pull a muscle or sleep on my neck wrong but not like I used to I mean my headaches are so far and few between for me these days so I never take Apple I haven't taken Advil in years and I'm so grateful for that but when I do get a headache peppermint oil is fantastic you can just put like a little bit at your temples or in the very back of your neck at the base of your where your head meets your neck and it really helps to take the headache away and just kind of melt it away. And another one of my favorites is frankincense oil. Frankincense oil is amazing. When I, before going raw, when I used to get sick all the time and my chest would get congested, I would, the first thing that I would do in the morning would be to rub frankincense oil on my chest, just like three drops. And within, like 20 minutes, I would be coughing up really productive coughs, just getting everything out of my chest. It was better than any over-the-counter spectrum that I ever used. Like it was amazing for just getting stuff out and really fast acting as well. So I always recommend to people when they're sick and they're congested to use the frankincense oil. It's really amazing for skin. Uh, rejuvenation it's amazing for so many things so that's another one of my favorites and then they also have blends which are really really awesome I love their balance and serenity my favorite I put the serenity on every night before I go to bed just put it on my wrists and kind of put it near my face so I can smell it as I go to sleep and it just smells so relaxing and so calming it just it's such a lovely smell and yeah. some vanilla in it and it just smells so pretty another essential oil company that i like is the medicine flower the same people that i told you about the extracts the flavor extracts that i've been using in recipes they also have an essential oil line and i really love their aroma mists and i have their relaxing aroma mist and their rose geranium floral water and it's just really nice when you need just a little pick me up or to calm down just a little spritz over your body or your face i love those neem oil is another great thing to have in your medicine cabinet it stinks to high heaven it smells like garlic and onions and when i first got it and opened it up i was like whoa there this product has gone bad there's something wrong with it but no that's just neem it just smells bad but if you have like a really bad skin infection or a, a, a cut that's been infected, you can put that on it and it really helps with the infection. It is antifungal, antibacterial, anti-aphids. I use this in my garden when I have aphids like on my, my tomato plants. If you take a little bottle, spray bottle of water and put like a dropper full of the neem oil in the water and shake it up and then spray it on your plants, the, the aphids and the pests will go away because they just don't like this stuff at all and it won't hurt your plants and it won't hurt you. So that's another great thing to have on hand. 
This is another great product by John Masters Organics. This is something that I love. It's hand, hand and body butter. It smells like chocolate. It, I just love it. My husband loves it too. It's very greasy though, so it's one of those things that when you put it on, you want to make sure that you're not going to be touching anything for a little while until it soaks in, but it's very moisturizing and I really like that. And then up here I have a jar of coconut oil for any time that I need some moisturizing or if I need a carrier oil for any of my essential oils, that's really great. And another thing that I wanted to share regarding the essential oils from doTERRA, if you're interested in getting your own and you want to buy some of the doTERRA oils for yourself. They have this great family physician kit that you can sign up with the company just to get your, your oils at wholesale. And this little kit comes with a huge variety of oils that you can get started with the essential oils and kind of learn more about them. This is a fantastic kit to have on hand. It's got so many great essential oils in it. And if you're interested, you can go to my website. Right on the front page, there's a little box at the bottom that shows the essential oils. And you can click on that and get your own set if you wish. And of course, you can always buy oils through there as well. If you don't want to go and get the whole kit and you just want to get one or two, like a lavender and a peppermint, you can do that as well. And I will definitely post all the links to everything that I'm sharing here in the drop down box below this video. So if you want to see more information or you want to have links to all of these products, you can just click that little button down there. The box will open up and there will be a ton of links down below for you to check them out. There's just a couple more things that I want to share with you. One is the rose water that I love. This is fantastic. I love this just for spritzing on my body and my face after working out. It's really nice to kind of spray it all over my body. In fact, today I did my hair. My hair is kind of funny where it's like really curly underneath and straight on top and curly around the edges. And so today I just kind of sprayed the rose water in my hair and scrunched it. And that's kind of how I get my waves when I want to just do light waves. But rose water is very nice because it's high vibrational substance. Roses are resonate at a really high frequency. And so if you want to raise your vibration, it's really nice to spray some rose water around the house or on your body just to really lift your spirits and raise your own vibration to just feel better and smell nice too. And then finally by the same company, this castor oil is fantastic. Castor oil is a really great product for moisturizing. It's also great to put on your eyelashes. It will help your eyelashes to grow, get longer and thicker. You can put it on your eyebrows as well. I notice when I use this, my eyelashes don't fall out as much. Like I get less, they break off less and they just seem to really get nice and thick and healthy. This is also amazing for so many other things. I encourage you to research castor oil. You can use it as a facial cleanser. If you mix it with olive oil or coconut oil or safflower oil, if you go online and Google oil cleansing method, you can find out information about castor oil and how you can use it as a facial cleanser. It's very moisturizing and it's really good at getting rid of blackheads. I mixed this with baking soda and was able to get rid of a couple of dark moles on my skin. And they just, I made a little mix of this with baking soda, put it on the mole and put a band-aid over it at night for three nights. And on the third morning when I woke up, it just wiped, the mole wiped right off. That's what's in my medicine cabinet. I highly encourage you to research natural products. Really look into the 100% Pure line or look into more home remedies like the baking soda and the castor oil and things like that that are all natural that you won't have any problems putting on your skin because whatever you put on your skin is going to end up in your bloodstream. 
You really don't want to use products that have chemical ingredients in them that aren't healthy or natural because they are going to end up in your organs, your cells, your bloodstream, and that's just not healthy. Make sure what you put on your skin is so natural that you could eat it. And you'll find that your health will improve just making little changes like dietary changes, skin product changes, over-the-counter product changes, go for the more natural stuff, go for the essential oils instead of the Tylenol and the Advils and the ointments that you get at the store. You can really change your health and your life by using natural products. You can even use the essential oil products as cleaning products. The list is long of the things that you can do with these things. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share it if you feel it could be helpful to others. And I really want to thank everyone who has subscribed and supports this channel. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate your comments, your feedback, your support. And I really want to thank everyone who has gone to my website and purchased products through my site. It really means so much to me. It really allows me to be able to continue making videos and share this message with everyone because I think so many people need to hear about living healthier and how you really can change your entire life for the better by just making a few small changes here and there and allowing it to just unfold naturally because then you see the difference and you want to do more and it involves and it grows and it's just so powerful. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.